A given rapid mix unit receives 2 mgd of flow at 70 degrees Fahrenheit and has a design retention time of 2 minutes. The power imparted to the impeller is 1866 feet pound per second. What is the resulting head loss in feet? So the first thing we want to do in this problem is search for rapid mix. Searching for this in the reference manual will take us to chapter 6, section 6.9.2.2 to a section called mixing. There is an equation there for rapid mix and flocculator design that we can write out now. So the equation is G equals P over mu times V all to the square root equals gamma times head loss over T times mu also to the square root where g is the velocity gradient, p is the power, v is volume, mu is dynamic viscosity, gamma is specific weight of water, hl is the head loss, and t is time. So the problem is asking us to find the head loss in terms of feet, and the problem also gives us some of the other information that we're going to need to solve this problem. So let's write this out and begin to simplify. So step one, we can see that we aren't given any information about velocity gradient in the problem, or term g here. So we can remove that and then simplify this equation even more. After we remove g, we can remove mu from both sides of the equation, and we can also remove the square root. So the equation will simplify down to p over v equals gamma times head loss over time. Plugging in our knowns, we can write as follows. Power equals 1866 foot pound over second. Volume, we don't know yet, but we can solve for. And on this other side of the equation, gamma we can also find which we'll do in a moment. Head loss is what we're solving for. And T is time given in seconds. We're given it up here in minutes. So two minutes times 60 seconds is going to be 120 seconds. And that's it. All we need to do now is find the volume and find gamma and we can solve this out. So the volume is given here as the flow. So we can calculate that as follows. Volume equals 2 mgd times our conversion of 1.547 CFS to mgd. And from here, we can multiply it by the retention time to find the amount of volume that stays in the rapid mix unit. So two minutes times 60 seconds per minute. And this will give us an answer of about 371.28 feet cubed. We can see here that MGD and MGD cancels out minutes and minutes cancel out and of the cubic feet per second here seconds and seconds will cancel out leaving us with cubic feet so we can write this at the bottom here 371.28 cubic feet and finally we need to find gamma so if you're completely stumped you could probably guess that gamma equals 62.4 pounds per cubic foot, as that's the standard unit weight of water. But there is somewhere else we can get it. So in this case, gamma comes from section 6.2.1.6 on page 316 of version 1.2 of the reference manual in a table called Properties of Water.
On this table, various physical properties of water are recorded at different temperatures. So at 70 degrees Fahrenheit, we can see on the table that gamma equals 62.3 pounds per cubic feet. I should note that this table also provides the viscosity if you had ended up needing that for this problem as well. So plugging that into the equation, all we have to do after this is solve for the head loss. So if we multiply the time over and then divide out the gamma to isolate HL, we can see that this equals just about 9.68 feet. And our closest answer over here is 9.7. So this problem can actually be solved very quickly if you understand just a few things. First, you'll have to know that given that this is a rapid mix problem, there is an equation for rapid mix in this following section. Further recognizing how to simplify it down so that you don't need to find two terms in this table. And indeed, you might not even need to use gamma from this table since 62.3 is very close to 62.4 if you had had that in your head. Granted, it's always good to check if you have the time because at a drastically different temperature, you might find that the value is different enough to skew your answer. And finally, you just have to know that your flow rate here can be converted into a volume of the rapid mix unit by knowing how much flow is passing through and how long that flow is detained for in the unit. Knowing these things, you'll be able to solve this equation very quickly and get your head loss. It's also worth noting that this section contains a number of other equations that the test could ask you about. So it's probably a good idea to get familiar with both this section as well as the physical properties of water table in this section. If you do that in advance, you'll be able to more efficiently tackle problems like this on the exam day. And that's it.